Hey guys, welcome to another video of Microsoft Office Tutorials. In this video, we are going to discuss that how we can highlight active cell in Excel. I think almost everybody would have idea that whenever we are working on Excel, especially whenever uh, data is such a confusing and congested data, we have too much number of rows, we have too much number of cells in our data. One of the most annoying thing for all of us is that we need to concentrate or focus on our active cell because you can see for such data active cell is not so much prominent or it is not so much comfortable to our eyes. So at least I find this, uh, this thing very annoying that when I have too much work pressure and I need to finish that work within limited time and uh, then I need to focus on my active cell and so I think that we should spare maybe maximum one minute and make such a setting that will help us to highlight active cell and you can see this is also very comfortable for our eyes and we don't need to focus or concentrate that where is our active cell so the question is how we can do this within one minute or it is uh, such easy that we can do this within one minute so let's see so what i will do i will just close this sheet or, or, or i will close this uh, workbook and here you can see this is same that uh, data but we don't have any setting that will highlight our active cell. So how we can do this or what we can do this? First of all, we need to go to developer tab for VBA code. You don't need to worry because we don't need a lengthy or a long VBA code. We just need to write one line with I think four words. So you don't need to worry. If you are not uh, expert in VBA, you will understand that VBA code. So what we need to do, we need to go to developer tab. If you don't have developer tab in your uh, Excel, you don't need to worry. You need to go to file tab then option in option we, uh, you need to go to customize ribbon and here you need to see that either this developer tab is marked or no if it is not marked then you need to mark and then you need to go to, uh, for ok and then you should see here developer tab if it is already marked here you should already have here developer tab now what we need to do we need to uh, one thing that we need to do we need to maybe finalize that we will use here cell maybe c65 so we will go to, uh, we have finalized that we will use cell C65 in VBA code. We will go to visual basics and uh, which sheet is this? This is sheet 2. So we will go to sheet 2, we will click here two times. Then we will select from here worksheet and here we will insert VBA code. That is maximum I think for words. So what is that code? We will use here the range, open parenthesis and inside this parenthesis we will use cell 65 that we said we will use in VBA code and uh, parenthesis close then equal sign then active cell dot address so this is our VBA code you can also understand this code that range 65 means this cell 65 is equal to active cell dot address means this cell 65 will show address of our active cell this is very simple VBA code you don't need to be uh, worry are you you don't need to be expert in uh, VBA code or VBA to understand this so uh, you can see here this is already here cell 65 is now showing address of our active cell so I will just highlight this and uh, what we need to do uh, we need to go to save as and then save as ok and here we will save this workbook as uh, excel my macro enabled workbook save and now what we will do we will just now close it because we don't need this uh, anymore and now what we will use here we will use here address function this is also a very simple function this uh, function is actually used to get address of any cell so how we will use this address inside this address function we will use row cell a1 close parenthesis for column now next argument cell a1 again we will use close parenthesis and this is you can see here this is showing us address of cell a1 now what we need to do as we need to highlight our active cell in this worksheet you will select from here uh, we will uh, first we will select our cell this a1 then we will select complete worksheet from here then we will go to conditional formatting new rule in new rule we will select this last option uh, actually i also need to copy this formula for completion okay i copy this function then i will select cell a1 i will select from here complete worksheet go to conditional formatting new rule and then here last option I will just paste it here that function that I just copied and then equal sign we will use same cell that we used in VBA code that is C65 but we need to lock this cell here and row and column we will lock row and column number and now we need to 
format cell that which formatting we need we want for our active cell i think we can use red color because you know red color is mostly prominent color so we will go for okay and we will go for okay and here you can see now our active cell is highlighting so uh, this is all friends you can see here this is maybe maximum maximum this will take one minute so that's all for this tutorial if you like this video please don't forget to give thumbs up don't forget to subscribe our channel and press bell icon button also share this knowledge with your friends and if you don't understand anything just uh, mention in below comment section i will answer all of your questions and at last thanks for watching bye bye